Hey guys, I'm Stephanie and this is Steph Stove. And today we're gonna to be making a great Southern dessert, a pound cake. Except this particular pound cake is a whipping cream pound cake. And it is a recipe that I have loved for many, many years. As a matter of fact, my mother-in-law introduced it to me um, right after my husband and I got married. And it has um, quickly replaced any other pound cake recipe I've had. I've made it so many times, I think I can make it in my sleep. Um, but it is beautiful, it's light, it's just amazing and enjoyed by everyone. So, with that being said, let's get baking. All right guys, I'm over at my stand mixer and I'm gonna go ahead and add my um, blade attachment to it. I love this one with the little scraper to it. Um, a friend of mine gave that to me as a gift and I absolutely love it. So, to our pan or pot here, um, our bowl pot, I should say, we are going to start off by creaming our butter and our sugar. This recipe from a whipping cream pound cake calls for three cups of sugar, so I'm gonna measure them off, and this is a dry measure. I'm gonna put three of them in here. Two. Three. We've got our sugar measured out. And to our sugar, we are going to add in um, two sticks of butter. And our butter is softened, so I've got two sticks here. It is softened at room temperature. And it's best when you're doing this, if you do have your ingredients at room temperature, they will combine much, much easier. So I'm going to drop this in. And it comes out pretty well, but I'm not gonna leave any in there, so I'm gonna scrape all that extra. I'll just put it on the paddle attachment here. Make sure I get it all. And go ahead and add the other one. And this is salted butter. I really always use salted butter. Some people prefer unsalted, but I like the taste of it. I'm gonna add our butter in here. And we're going to lower our steam mixer and lock it in place and very slowly. I'm gonna put my hands here because this will start sliding around. I'm gonna add my spider bar to it. And we are gonna incorporate the butter and the sugar. And once it is incorporated well, We'll start adding our eggs. Now I'm gonna finish measuring out our flour. We're gonna have three cups of flour. Remember when you're adding your flour, you're always gonna do it in a dry measure and you want to level it off. So I take a butter knife and just level it off to be sure I've got three exact cups. And I'm gonna put it in this container right here just cause it'd be easier for me to add. So we'll get ready to add our flour to our Okay, just a minute. All right, looks like our butter and our sugar is incorporating nicely. At this time, I'm gonna turn it off and I'm gonna lift up my stand mixer. And you see, it's just a pretty white, it's a beautiful color. And I'm gonna come and scrape down my sides to be sure. Oh. Um, the scraper attachment does an excellent job of it. I'm just kind of going in behind it. All right, I'm gonna incorporate this just for another minute and then we're going to add some eggs. All right, the next thing we have to get ready to add to our pound cake is six eggs. And again, my eggs are also at room temperature, so I'm gonna crack these. And I'm gonna put these in a two cup measuring cup so it'll be very easy for us to add them because we are gonna add the eggs one egg at a time. Just crack them very gently. Add them to your measuring cup and we'll do the rest of them and get ready to incorporate our ingredients. All right, to our butter mixture, we are gonna start adding our eggs. We're gonna crack six eggs. And these eggs were at room temperature, so I'm gonna add these in um, slowly, one egg at a time. That's why I like using this measuring cup. 
nice and easy. And we just want each egg to kind of incorporate until we get ready to add the next one. So as we can see, no more yellow. We'll add in our second. So I'm just pausing in between to give it a minute to incorporate. pause in between each section, adding a little bit at a time. Good 
just a little bit. turn it off so let's reveal look at that beautiful batter isn't that gorgeous so I'm gonna lift this up look at that just beautiful all right I'm gonna scrape this down and then I'm going to let it whip just about two more minutes. Make sure I got all this incorporated. I'm going to get it back down. Lock it into place. And I'm going to put it back on for, for two minutes. It's been two minutes, so I'm gonna slow the batter down and get ready to stop it. You guys want to slow the mixer down um, gradually, not just kind of shoot it down to off. I slow it down. All right, and let's reveal. That is just beautiful, and you'll see it's a little bit lighter and a little bit fluffier as that whipping cream kind of whipped up some more. And that is important to give it those extra couple minutes of whipping time because it does have to whip up. So we're gonna get our pans and get ready to get this wonderful pound cake into the oven. One of the best parts of bacon is like in the batter. Mm, yum. Look at that beautiful pound cake batter. Mm -mm -mm. Now, as we get ready to put this in our pans, I do use um, a two pan or a bunt pan, and you can see I've used it so much the color came off, um, a bunt pan when I do my cakes, but I've noticed that this cake is so large because the whipping cream, it rises so much. Um, early on, I had problems with it and I thought, I don't know why, it's just rolling out and it's just like my pan is not large enough. So, my mother-in-law suggested, and I followed through. I got me a mini pan, so I make a mini one as well, which is great because um, my husband always says, oh, I want to taste some. I'm like, you can. I'm taking that somewhere. So we always keep the mini one. Um, another thing, I've already greased and floured my um, pans, and I learned a great tip when you're greasing and flouring your pans before you bake them, to go ahead, grease, flour them, and put them in the refrigerator about 30 minutes before you're getting ready to bake and it will help them release even easier. So you can see this is quite a thick batter. So I'm gonna pour just a little bit in my mini pan because again, this is always our keeper. I'd say eat early. Little cake and it doesn't take much and my husband polishes it off pretty quickly. So I'm gonna shake this down. That's about how much that I put in the mini pan. Again, it's like four heaping spoons all the way across. Now, for the remainder of the batter, we'll go in my larger pan. So I'll go ahead and incorporate that. This is really such a simple pound cake. It is so delicious. I remember when I first started making it, my grandmother, my mammy, she was still alive. And uh, I took, she was such a good cook to take food to her that you had cooked. It was almost intimidating because she could do everything so well. I kind of was a little nervous. But anyway, I, I made a pound cake and I decided to take it because I knew she loved pound cake and I was excited about this new recipe I had. So I took her some and my mammy, as sweet as she was, she, she looked and she said, she said, Stephanie, I cannot believe that 
this is the best pound cake I've ever had. And that was probably one of the highest, I thought, compliments I'd ever received in cooking. And she started telling everybody she knew about it. And at the time, my mom was probably about 90 years old. And so I just thought that was amazing that she was that complimentary. And I'm gonna smooth this down because she had sure tasted a lot of pound cakes and made a lot of pound cakes in her day. So I'm gonna move that around. Get that extra off. And what am I gonna do with the rest? Yes, I am gonna lick the bowl. That's one of the great memories I have of my mom making so many cakes growing up is my brother and I would always, always race to lick the bowl. And my mom always saved just enough to give us a taste. Great memories. All right, I'm gonna push that down and move this. And I've already had my oven preheated to 350. So I'm gonna place both of these in the oven on 350 and get this pound cake going. All right, as you can see, I've got both of my pound cakes in the oven. I put my larger one on the top and my smaller one on the bottom. I always do them in the center. And we are gonna get this going. It's at 350 and we are gonna time it for 30 minutes to start and then see if we need additional time. All right, guys, our timer's fixing to go off on our pound cake and it looks like we still need several more minutes. Um, I did turn the light on and we're looking through the oven door because we don't want to open it and disturb it. We don't want it to fall down. So here we go, about 10 more minutes. All right, my oven timer just went off, so I'm gonna open it up and check it. Um, usually the smaller cake is ready first, so I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna use a large skewer for this, and I'm gonna go in and check. And what I'm looking for is to have nothing come out on my skewer. I'm just checking along. And you see it's clean. So this small cake is ready. Like my husband's sampler cake. I'll put that up there. And see my large cake. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a check. It probably needs about five more minutes. And if you'll see, you can see the difference here. See that right there, it is not done. So we'll go about 10 more minutes. Put that back in, and I'll set the timer on. 10 more minutes. All right, let's check our big pancake. The timer just went off, so let me open. Let's see, Ooh, isn't that pretty, pretty, pretty? Open it out. And we're going to check around the edges to be sure that it's clean on our skewer. So go in, clean. I'm just going to check a few more places. Clean. All of them are clean, so we are ready. I'm gonna take this out. Look at, that. Look at that beautiful pound cake. Oh, I wish you could smell it. As I'm getting ready to turn my pound cakes out, it's been about 10, 12 minutes. I'm just gonna kind of run my knife around the edge here to be sure that it's released. It looks like it is nicely. So I'm gonna put the pan on it and here we go. <gasps> Look at that, a beautiful little mini pound cake. Here we go with the big one. Let's run it around and it does, you can see it's already separated very nicely. It's like we should shouldn't have any problems with this. And I'm gonna put the plate, now notice this plate isn't really large. I'm just trying to cover the cake at this point. So my pan is still somewhat warm. So here we go, carefully. Oh, I feel success. Oh, look at that gorgeous pound cake. Isn't 
that a thing of beauty. Absolutely beautiful. All right, guys, with our pound cake, it came out just beautifully. But one thing, that crunchy top that's on the bottom, we don't want that to get soggy. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take, um, this is just a drying rack, and very carefully, I'm gonna flip it over <gasps> to reveal that crust, because we want this crunchy goodness to stay. So, look at that. Isn't that just a thing of beauty? Absolutely beautiful. I'm Stephanie, and this is Steph Stove. We have a wonderful, wonderful whipping cream pound cake with one to take and one to enjoy for yourself. It's my favorite part. Mm. Enjoy. Remember, we're making memories one dish at a time.